With respect to music coverage as it appears on this channel, we have had plenty of opportunities to take mutual cycles of first impression journeys to whether they be specific tracks or new artists. Usually new artists to me, certainly of the European metal and rock regard, of which Never Obey Again has standing. But in terms of first exposures, right, I think of groups that are... I mean, Never Obey Again is a bit different in that respect. In, again, a factor of European metal, I'm usually arriving to most of these groups late. But they depart a bit in that they are a rather fresh debut uh, to set a baseline for anybody who's an initiate listener of theirs, and I think you'll quickly become a fan, as I have, of three listens later. Uh, Scarlet Records uh, attributed Italian modern metal. They've really delivered for me. But again, as I was saying, the first exposure points. I think of artists that are relatively new. There's been a couple cases in the past, but not frequently. I'm not trying to throw shade at anybody, by the way, when I say this. It's just a truthful admission of what I've observed. I have not come across many artists that have had such a robust catalog to analyze. Maybe in original pieces, but not necessarily wider than that. But it's a great method for an emerging artist to perhaps gain traction. I'm not trying to limit this, by the way, being like, oh, Never Obey, again, their only purpose for doing a cover was of selfish motive. Uh, it, again, I don't think that's fair to say at all. That's not in any way what I'm trying to surmise, to make it very clear. It's a great point, though, to attract attention. So... I'm really curious, again, this doesn't oftentimes happen with first arrivals, right? We don't have as much of a robust catalog to operate from, but considering the three original pieces and how dynamic each one is, and now adding on a cover, this is such a good canvas we have of analyzing Never Obey Again, and I can say, I think honestly, they're going places in terms of exposure. I'm looking forward to the journey with this group and its evolution. Noah, for short, has just really impressed me, and I hope they have for you, too. Again, that's been the story of every artist that's come across this way of the channel, and I feel honored to be highlighting such great talents abroad. There's not been one artist or song I've not loved recognizing, and music generally, first love in my life. And I think it's better to enjoy it in company, especially when perhaps there's an opportunity to inspire you as a prospective fan and listener to explore artists that you've not yet humored before, but maybe you're just learning the names of, but you've been maybe aching to hear. Never Obey Again, I think, will suit your style if you're into metal or just good music in general and good art, especially art with a cathartic resonance. They have, in broad writing structure, they've really impressed me. Let's analyze, though, their, their take on a cover, right? This type of landscape, and we've explored a great variety of uh, covers together, especially in the European regard. We've seen, a, observed a beautiful versatility and variety of where covers navigate. And in terms of efficacy, right, I think of my own journey in exploring covers even outside of the channel, and I've seen a mixture in this space, right, certainly on tailoring. Certain groups might choose intentionally to keep a song married to the inspirational work, or the works might diverge. How substantially? That's another question in itself. Different tools employed, perhaps. I'm curious to see where Zombie goes. Because this number, I don't think I've looked at too many, at least in observance of a channel. Yes, many European songs in terms of covers, but not as many from the mid-90s and none of Irish origin. But Zombies has an incredible history. I've heard it before, although I had to be reminded of what the number was, because uh, I, I didn't know it by name, but the minute I heard the tune, I'm like, oh yeah, I know this one. But it's history, I didn't. It's an incredibly dynamic piece, and the vocals are particularly interesting and singular, a bit isolated in terms of uh, carrying it in uh, consideration of my playlist. Distinct, separated, but again, reverential. So I'm curious to see how Never Obey Again takes that inspirational tune and translates it. Our fourth opportunity to Never Obey Again to get a wider perspective of them. It's been a fun journey thus far, though. I I knew going in they were promising just on the European credit, but they've delivered for me, and I'm sure they'll deliver for you too if you're open. And maybe just I'm speaking maybe in reference to anybody who might not necessarily be a metal fan, but you're open to good art and good expression in the music world. I think Never Obey Again will really impress you, especially on debut. This has been a fun journey today. I'm looking forward to more myself. Let's enjoy, though, this piece and see where it goes in terms of cover territory. I I'm really curious to see its evolution. Especially coming off of that original number, I mean, it does this naturally embody again the passion of that original piece? Let's see. I mean, imagine it would. Let's consider where this goes. Different key. Distinct. I like the flair though. This is more of the metal version. Different key.
This is definitely suited to never obey again. This is their version. <laughs> For sure, if you've considered the original uh, works of theirs. Reimagined beautifully and faithfully. That same passion is embodied beautifully. And Carol's vocals do remind me a lot of the original number. Yeah, it is closely linked. Even if, again, this is much more metal. This is great. I love those vibrations too. Again, the yodeling illusion. I love that. So similar. And this metal direction again just really works. Specifically because it doesn't shed any element that's necessary to the pathos of the original piece. That is still so succinctly embodied by the number. And on styling, I mean, I could understand the temptation, right? And then, to intentionally choose to diverge a song like that takes responsibility and strict decision. For a fresh group in debut to cover a song like that with such prowess, with that reimagined criteria, I am just surprised at how well that works. Because yes, as I said, divergence in how covers go, right? Some songs, same key choice, same genre feel, same vocal styling. Other songs diverge substantially. What do we have here in terms of contrast? Different key choice, different genre approach. This is more so metal where that one is more alternative rock and had a much gentler mood. And the vocal pattern's the same. Even though it, 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 it isn't. It, there's that illusion manifested that it is. The pauses on Carol's behalf delivered beautifully. That upward, the, the ticks, the jumps, the zombie, right? That elevation, I can't do yodeling, but that elevation, <laughs> you get what I mean. Again, it's, this is definitely, if you had told me that this wasn't a cover, I would have believed it, you know, as a Never Obey Again original, because it's married so well to what we've explored thus far in experiences, to where they go independently. So it's suited for them. I'm just surprised again, in a group very early in its days, this song lands so well, but the responsibility to preserve the emotions of that piece in the way that Never Obey Again wishes to, it's perfectly executed, in my opinion. Everything just works. Even the riffs, I mean, again, like I said, 
This is different. But nothing for me is stripped. You must get caught up in this illusion that you are listening to the same number. If you forgive again the departures, let's, let's say on key. That's... That original essence, though, just isn't shed at all. And yet this is a piece, again, like I said, that has its own independent focus. It's great. Well-managed cover. And that's been the case of many, not just in the European metal regard, but broadly speaking of what's grace this channel and covers I've, anal I've taken the same lens to. And I like, by the way, to go back, I did, as I said, reference this piece in a review, just to be able to best judge it. And that helps when you analyze a cover, again, by the comparison uh, goal in seeing how effective it is between translations. Can that essence be preserved? I I'm just surprised this lands so well. Because the decisions, I could see it an experience for somebody where you have a group that is ambitious. Again, I want to be fair in how I explain this. It might not come across as a perfect translation. Something might feel lessened, or the other number might be given a greater sense of strength of being. This is of equal... It, it, it's condensed as well. That's a never change. The other number, I think, is like five minutes long. This is... I would say an appreciation... Now, again, the original number has the credit of being, right, the historical piece of such renown, but for an adaptation and one of distinct versatility, for me, this is, like, almost evenly matched. It's the prowess to it and how well it's executed really impresses me. I'd love to hear your feedback on this one as well. I mean, again, like I said, you know, in my own experiences... Substantial variance in the ter territory of a cover, right? Different groups try different things, and they come out with different results. This one, for me, lands. I'd love to hear if that opinion is shared of you down below. I mean, to me, again, it almost comes across as like a Never Obey Again original piece. If it didn't have the original exception, I wouldn't notice it because it's so beautifully suited to them. But then again, I consider that original number, which is distinctly different. And this carries off an illusion of it being the same. Without anything lost, it's just... Almost confounding how good it is. It's a number that you have to take in a bit. I can't wait to hear it again. That's a beautiful cover. I'd love to hear your opinion, though, down below. And from whatever angle you approach in consideration of Never Obey Again, fresh impression to you, familiar listen, or familiar artist, I'd love to hear how you see this piece down below. And again, in the cover territory, there might be a mixture of opinion, right? And all art is subjective, for sure. So you might see this one a bit differently. Just for me, I listen to it, and I consider the original standing of the Cranberries and that number, and I, I see deliberate shifts, but they're almost non-existent because the number comes across in essence as such the same thing. It's, it's, nothing's lost with this one. It's only changed, it's only changed form. But it's just as consistent. And it's deeply, I, I sense it, reverential. I love it. I think it's a great cover. I can't wait to hear it again. And to maybe explore facets of it that I have not yet honed in on, but certainly on a first sensation. That's impressive. I hope there's more covers in the future. If songs are done with that level of faithfulness and ambition, and they it, it works that well, I think they're going to be really strong in the cover territory. Now, in their original pieces, yes. It's been a wonderful journey thus far. I've never obeyed again. And as far as I've said in the past, you know, it, that still applies. Doors open. I can't wait for more. And I hope there's something in the future in terms of new covers. That is... That was a great experience. I'd love to hear more from them in that regard. Now, their original pieces might have been, you know, captivating as well to the same level of respect. But this, as I said... Fresh debuts. Robust pool of analysis considerations. Not always, you know, the case of maybe fresh arrivals. And to see it work effectively. It's impressive. I had a sense, I had a sense that Never Obey Again would impress me. And they've exceeded what I thought. It's been great thus far. I can't wait to hear more. Looking forward to the opportunity. And if this is your first experience with them, what a ride you've had alongside me. That's why I cherish music, and I, cher I love the first impression and respect of how we can enjoy music and company, especially on fresh debuts. It just makes the experience that much richer. I never obey again. <laughs> I feel honored to be recognizing such talent. I can't wait to hear more, and I hope you would share in the same opinion. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.